Today's trailside bite is a hearty chicken black bean chili. In today's chili, I try to use fresh ingredients and even fire roast our peppers and our corn. Two cloves of garlic minced. One yellow onion. Um, we're going to dice this before we saute it. Um, straight into the pan it goes and uh, we're on our way toward an incredible lunch. One jalapeno, uh, we dice this, and uh, I'm trying to use as many raw ingredients as possible. One of the best ways to break down a bell pepper uh, to get the most out of it is to take the top and the bottom off, cut into the ribs, and then work your way around the middle of the seed core, and that way you can get all of it off. One cob of corn and two bell peppers, all making their way into the pot. Wow, it's starting to come together and it smells great. In this pan I have one yellow onion, two bell peppers, a clove of garlic, a jalapeno, and a little bit of olive oil just to get things going. And I've also added fire roasted corn as well. All right. For this, I diced two chicken breasts, a little bit of olive oil, and we are about to start cooking it. I like to cook the meat thoroughly before we add it to the, the chili. Everything is seasoned. Dash of black pepper, cumin, and chili powder to get things started. Six ounces of tomato paste, 28 ounces of diced tomatoes, and everything starts to come together in the pot. To add a little bit more liquid, we're adding some chicken broth. 30 ounces of black beans really give it a hearty taste. A dash of black pepper, cumin, and chili powder as well. Now while this chili is simmering for a few minutes, we're gonna make some homemade tortilla chips. A little bit of vegetable oil, frying these until they're nice and a light brown. Let the chili simmer for 15 minutes at low to medium heat. Good food and even better people. <laughs>